Support your local box fundraiser workout number three coming to you right now. We've got 50 dumbbell deadlifts, 50 ab mat sit ups, 50 box step ups, and then 50 single arm dumbbell thrusters just for time. Those four movements, 50 reps each for time, 50 pound dumbbells for the guys in a 24 inch box for the guys. 35s and a 20 inch for the ladies. Time cap's 20 minutes, so I'm gonna make some changes that I'm sure I'm gonna regret right about in the middle of the workout. Uh, we're gonna do double dumbbell deadlifts, which is standard. We're gonna do ab mat sit ups, and then I'm gonna hold on to those dumbbells for the box step up, so I'm gonna keep both dumbbells in my hand, and then I'm gonna keep both dumbbells for the single arm thrusters, and I'm just gonna alternate arms back and forth. With that time cap being 20 minutes, uh, I'm gonna make this just a little bit harder and see uh, if I can't uh, make the workout just a little bit longer, a little more grueling for me. So, um, super cool workout. You know, I always love workouts that are one round through for time, really let you hit the send button, but uh, not so on this one. With those reps of 50, I think I'm gonna have to pace myself a little bit more. We'll see how it goes, and I'll wrap up at the finish. That was an awesome one, that was good. I'm really glad that I kept the dumbbells on the box step ups and both dumbbells on the thrusters. That made it that much harder uh, and more of a challenge. So it was kind of fun to grind through those last 100 reps of the step ups and the thrusters. Definitely if you are you know, only a couple months into CrossFit, maybe under a year into doing CrossFit, uh, just keep the workout as, our, as programmed, right? No need to go up on a little bit or no need to add any additional weight or anything like that. Um, Man, my uh, shoulders and my grip was one of the big things that uh, really started to fatigue fast, especially on the step ups. And like my legs are just not in, a, in game shape right now. I think if you were looking to compete in the CrossFit Games this summer, um, that's a sub 10 minute workout the way that I did it. Should definitely be under 10 minutes. I finished in like 11.30. Broke up my sets of, uh, uh, my step ups into sets of 10, which was right on the verge of failing, like I, I stumbled into the box once or twice. Um, and then the thrusters, I tried to grind through the best that I could, and that was always like sets of uh, 12 to 10, and then a couple smaller sets, and then one big set at the end of 10 to finish. Um, yeah, great workout, loved it. All you need is a set of 50 pound dumbbells if you don't have a box. Step up on some stairs, step up on a porch, step up on anything that you can find outside to step up on with some weight. Um, definitely recommend it, super fun. And uh, yeah, give it a go. Gonna finish up today's session with some on the minute snatch work. So the reason that I'm doing it on the minute is one, to get a little bit of a metabolic response. So training a little bit of your stamina, a little bit of your muscular endurance um, with sets of six, hit a little bit of a heavier load. Uh, and then also just to get practice in, right? It's lighter weight. I'm gonna try to go touch and go with them but try to maintain my positioning, good positions, while I'm doing touch and go movements. That's why you do on the minute work. That's why you put that scheduled rest in there, is that so you can have time to recover and hit the reps as best you can so that you make sure that you're maintaining good form. That way when it's game time and you're actually gonna compete, you have that built in. You have the, the uh, motor recruitment patterns and all the muscle memory locked in for doing good movement and more efficient movement means you're less taxed when you do the movement and being less taxed means you finish a workout faster or get more reps uh, in an AMRAP. So that's why we're doing this today. We're going to do six sets of six every two minutes and I'm going to go at 60% of my one rep max squat snatch.
talking about technique, one of the biggest things for me is my footwork. Um, that's something Coach B, Mike Bergner, always preaches. 90% of missed lifts are because you mess up your footwork. So going from that jumping stance to your squat stance, while you're transitioning from your third pull down into the squat, is something that you have to practice over and over and over to make sure that your feet are going to the right positions each time. And then for CrossFit, it's also, once the bar's overhead, walking your feet back into that position as you're bringing the bar back down to the floor, if you're gonna do touch and go. So, regular Olympic lifting, you usually only have to worry about one rep, right? But if we're gonna do multiple reps, as soon as my feet go out to that squat stance, where I'm comfortable squatting with the bar overhead, now I have to uh, transition that bar back to the floor and get my feet back into my ready position or my jumping stance with my feet underneath my hips. So practicing both of those things with that little bit of rest gets you a good amount of practice at a moderate to heavy load. Mission accomplished with the barbell cycling. I uh, felt really good on the front end, was able to really work on my technique, that barbell cycling again, it's something I haven't been doing in a little while, just with all the changes that have been going on in the world. Um, getting back into it a little bit, and then on the back end really started getting fatigued, so really had to focus on keeping that bar and catching it in that good overhead position, not letting it be forward or backward. You can see a couple of times on some of the reps, potentially like I had to take a couple steps forward. And all that tells me is, okay, I'm, I'm catching the bar a little bit out front. It's pulling me forward when I stand up out of the squat. So a little more emphasis on pulling my elbows high and back to get that bar up overhead in the proper position. Uh, got through all the reps unbroken except for the last one. Um, so I'm fired up for that just because, hey, it just means I've got some more work to do. I've got something to work on. I've got a new goal to hit. So come back at this same weight, maybe a little heavier, and try to get all the reps uh, done unbroken. But super happy with how this went. Um, definitely by the last two to three sets, the fatigue really starts to set in. You really got to focus on that footwork, really focus on that overhead position and not get too sloppy when cycling the barbell. So good workout. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like, subscribe, put questions down in the comments below. We'll see you next time.